My father uh, served on this destroyer in 1972 through 1973. Uh, he brought myself and my brother aboard here when we were quite young. I think I was around 10, 9 or 10 or 11 years old, and we started on field days with the Tin Can Sailors Organization who first started aboard here. And, and uh, we learned from World War II veterans, Korea and Vietnam veterans, uh, about painting the ship and learning to do things like that, learning about a ship and a destroyer and what the Navy history is. The guys that served on this ship have a unique connection to her. But the guys who served on ships just like her or very similar to her have a great connection to her because she's the last connection they have with their ship. Because most of these guys, their ships are gone. And, and to relive their Navy days, they report aboard here. So we like to call them the transfers. We, they basically get a new chit and they're transferred aboard, they're crew members. But they walk through this ship, they know where they're going. She's just like hers. They, they wear their clothes from the field day and they said it smells like, every ship has a smell. And destroyers have a smell, a mixture of paint and fuel oil, and they just have a smell to them. These guys bring their clothes home, and they tell their wives not to wash them for a week because they want to smell them every once in a while because they love that. It's, it's a strange thing. They love the smell of the ship because all these destroyers have a unique smell. And one of the first things they do when they come aboard is, I can smell it again. It's just like 1965. You can watch like Bill Rader, our World War II veteran. I can watch him stand at the, on the, up on the weather decks, lean against the lifelines, and he'll turn into an 18-year-old right before your eyes. I mean, they get that sparkle in their eyes of, I remember when, and that's the best part. And a lot of these guys today, this week, is the first time they stand on a destroyer in 50 years. And they walked off their ship, and they walked on this one, and it's like, oh, just like home. And that's an amazing thing, that's why we're here. And when I'm walking down the main passageway, I, I'm a tall guy, I got a duck to avoid hitting my head. Um, I feel at home on it, and I, I enjoy being with uh, veterans. I enjoy being part of the history of the Navy and these ships. We have visitors sometimes that come aboard and they'll look at a restored compartment much like we're now CIC or the ship store is a particular example and they'll cry when they're explaining to their wives this is exactly what it was like when I was aboard my ship in this period of time I did this job we sold those things we operated this equipment and they're a celebrity when they come aboard this ship especially when they're bringing visitors and family because they know all the things ins and outs of the ship and it's their story to tell and their kids and their grandkids have lots of questions and they're the celebrity, they're the main people. It makes them feel good as a veteran, it makes them feel good that they served their country, and it makes them feel proud that they served on a ship just like this one. Uh, so th these guys that come in for the field day or, or their visitors, they all have that same aspect about them. They love the ship. They come from thousands of miles in every direction to come here. One of our guys says, you couldn't get me to paint in the Navy and now I drive 300 miles to come here to paint now. He says, so that's how much we care about the ship.